Tampa International saw a lot of canceled flights. The airport says there are still cancellations, but there has been some improvement. Thank you for joining us on this Monday for Midday. I'm Allison Croft. Southwest Airlines says weather was a factor for the disruptions across the country over the weekend. The airline canceled more than 1,800 flights starting on Friday. It's far more than any other carrier. We've been checking in with Tampa International. As of right now, there are eight scheduled Southwest flights that have been canceled today. So if you're traveling or if you're planning on picking someone up at the airport, be sure to check that flight status before you head out there. 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer is live at the airport this afternoon. You know, Bo, there are still delays and cancellations, but the those improvements you're starting to see. Absolutely, Allison, and the numbers keep changing as the day goes on. So where we might start off with eight, as you just reported, it may go up throughout the day. And what we're seeing is a lot more cancellations on the inbound flight. So as I look up here, we've got Atlanta, Austin, Baltimore, Chicago Midway, Fort Lauderdale, Key West, Memphis, all delayed or canceled as of right now. We do have some of the outbound flights, including the Raleigh Durham 1645 that was supposed to leave within the next hour. We've been talking to a lot of people on that flight that are very frustrated, uh, but I've been told by Tampa International Airport that we have a total at this point of 19 flights that have been canceled or delayed, and that number could go up based on staffing issues and other things that may come up throughout the day, according to Southwest Airlines. I talked with one guy that was on that Raleigh flight. He was down here for the weekend and was impacted in both directions. This was Friday. Our flight got canceled coming into Tampa, and now that we're in Tampa, it's canceled going back to Raleigh. How are you feeling? <sighs> A little depressed. <laughs> and just got an update from him. He just got back from the ticket counter, just found out it's going to be another two days before he's able to get home. And his wife is concerned because obviously she's going to be missing multiple days of work. Uh, I can tell you the airlines are trying to work with the folks out here, but we're still waiting to get some more definitive answers on what is causing all of this. Southwest has been saying, you know, weather delays initially started all this, but then we heard from the pilots union that it might have been a, you know, some poor planning on Southwest part. So we're still waiting to get some additional answers on exactly what led to this and how soon all of this will be resolved. But Tampa International Airport telling us this afternoon, this morning, uh, to basically check with the airline before you come in if you're flying Southwest over the next several days. My goodness, a mess for a lot of people. So if your flight is delayed or canceled, there are a couple of things that you can do. So let's take a deeper dive on that. The U.S. Department of Transportation says you are not immediately entitled to money or other compensation from the airline. But if you're experiencing a long delay, you can ask your airline if they can provide a hotel room or pay for meals. You can also switch to another flight. But before you do that, check with the airline to see if you'll be charged a fee or a higher fare for changing your reservation. If your flight is canceled and you choose to cancel your trip as a result, you are entitled to a refund even for non-refundable tickets.